Do not trade in this fair value gap. Yes, you heard me right. Do not trade in this fair value gap. So if you have ever come across a fair value gap whereby the third candle here is working against you, leaving you a very small distance between the first and the third candle, this is a very, very small fair value gap. And you will want to avoid it at all costs. So what exactly is a fair value gap? Let me put it in the layman term. Just imagine that there's two person walking from a starting line here at the same steady speed. And one of the person decided to sprint ahead or walk even faster, leaving a gap in between the both of them. So this gap in the trading or investing point of view is also known as the fair value gap. Where the price is moving too fast in one direction, there is too much buyers in the market or there can be too much seller in the market, leaving an insufficient time for a proper trading activity to take place. Hence, it resulted in a fair value gap. So again, you will want to trade in the fair value gap whereby the gap is actually generally higher or bigger than the current one that you are seeing on my screen right here. So let me just show you an example. You can see that right now on my chart, I'm looking at the gold chart XAUUSD in a one hour time frame. Okay, so you can see from this chart, this is the first candle followed by the second and the third. The third candle is apparently a very, very big candlesticks and it's actually not giving a very big or a very huge fair value gap here. So indicated by this red box here, this is the fair value gap, which I have mentioned earlier to avoid at all costs. So let's see what happens if let's say I really insisted on trading at this fair value gap. You can see that the price actually moved down even more from here. So this is the reason why fair value gaps that is generally very, very small. It is highly advisable or recommended for you to just skip it as the fair value gap is not being respected in this case. So now, what kind of fair value gap are we then looking at in order to have a profitable trade? It's very straightforward. Just take a look at this. This is the first candle followed by a very huge candlestick here, which is the second candle. And the third candle that we want ideally is to be a small consolidating one. So as you can see from here, the third candle is very, very small, which indicates that the price is consolidating or there's not much market movement in the price itself. And this would actually result in an easy retracement for the price to move even higher in the bullish trend. So you can see that the fair value gap in this case is much larger than my previous. So this will be the ideal fair value gap that we want to trade in ideally for a profitable trade. So let me show you an example on the live chart. So on this chart here, you can see that it actually fulfills our criteria early on, whereby the third candlestick is a very, very small price consolidation. It's a small price consolidation. Usually, this is what we call it a doji candle. So it actually results in the fair value gap that is bigger than the previous one early on. So imagine that we actually trade in this fair value gap. Let's see what happens in the market. So as mentioned earlier on, a small third candle will allow easy retracement for the price movement. And once the price actually retraces to this red color fair value gap box here, you can see that the price starts to move upwards. So let's continue to see how far it actually moves even further ahead. So you can see that if let's say you would have traded in this bigger fair value gap, you would have made a gains of, let me just see how much is the cost price increase in pricing. So the trades, you would have won about 1.14%. Of course, the price will continue to move upwards. I'm just showing you an example here on how you can identify a good fair value gap to trade in for a profitable trade. So whatever you do, if let's say you are someone who is using fair value gap to trade, do make sure that you remember this very important principle, whereby the third candle is the most critical part that you want to look at. So the third candle, that you want it to be small, less consolidating pricing, and it's easy for the price to actually retrace to this fair value gap before you take the trade. So if you find this video useful, do hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel so I will be sharing more of such content in future. See you around!